this afternoon, what I would like to do is to um, tell you five stories. Um, five stories to explain what we can do with Dalet Galaxy in 2017 um, for your MAM scenarios. I will start with programs preparation. And for us, we think that what is key is to have the appropriate tools at the appropriate step in the workflow to efficiently assemble and prepare all your programs. So that will be the first scenario that we'll cover today. Then we'll move to multi-platform distribution, which is probably the most important and the most challenging um, um, thing that you are facing every day, which is the ability to produce more without um, adding more resources, more resources. So we'll see how you can automate your workflows and increase your productivity. Then we'll move to post-production. And here, we'll focus on how you can unify and build an environment where you can combine creative tools that usually do not work together, but which will share the same content because they will, be, they will sit on top of a rich and collaborative content repository. Then we'll move to IMF. Um, I think you know Game of Thrones. Um, so I would like to say that IMF is coming. And if you are not ready for IMF, well, you might have issues to manage um, thousands of IMF packages without an abstraction layer and a map able to support a um, bigger and bigger uh, archive of IMF content. And finally, um, I'll spend some time on orchestration. Um, Arnaud mentioned that it's a key focus for Dalet. It's also something that we've seen in the uh, last 20 projects that we've delivered for MAM, is that orchestration now is used a lot as we can leverage all the metadata of your assets to automate and streamline your workflows. So let me start now with programs preparation. That's a typical scenario that we see uh, our customers. You have a combination, a sequence of tasks which can be automated or manual. And what is important here is to have at the appropriate step of the workflow, the tool that will show you the good asset with the appropriate metadata, with the appropriate functions. And you need that at any step of the workflow. So whether you are doing some quality control or annotation, if you are uh, processing captions or subtitles, if you are um, aggregating all the media essences together, if you are doing some editing, uh, or if you are creating some versioning, you need the appropriate tools to, to be efficient. And with Galaxy, we, build, we provide you a set of tools which are meant really to provide the appropriate information, show you the appropriate metadata form, have the ability to preview subtitles, to fix them, to share them with um, subtitling systems, having the ability to bundle different components and to create new versions. And if you have to do some soft segmentation or soft parting, also to have another tool. So with that, you have a comprehensive user toolkit that allows you really to move forward and have workflows which are easy um, to be uh, understood by users. So you can have complex workflows, but which are um, presented as, as simple tasks for the users. The next scenario is multi-platform packaging and distribution. How can you automate and how can you distribute more content without having to increase the number of resources that you have? So if we step back maybe 20 years ago, you had one contract, one contract to deliver one package to one outlet, Line Air TV. Then we moved to a traditional VOD. So it was a new set of uh, metadata uh, requirements, a different format, different delivery methods. Okay, so you had to manage two different um, outputs at the same time, not a big deal. But now we are also adding all the different OTT outputs that you need to manage every day. So you need to create an adaptive bitrate package. Um, you need to uh, publish to a CMS. You need to generate an IMF package and send it to Netflix. And on top of that, you need to put some advertisements, so to publish it to Facebook, to publish it to Twitter. So how can you know um, easily how much it costs for you to deliver one content to all those different platforms? It's impossible without having something that unify and that drives all those processes in parallel. So what we bring here is the ability to design data-driven workflows, which will take at the beginning of the workflow all the information, all the packaging information that you need and the expected outputs, and drive and automate all those different tasks in parallel. What is important also is to have, at the end of the workflows, the ability to measure 
the efficiency of your system and the efficiency and the productivity of your operation so that you can learn and improve your processes every day. The next scenario, and you will see actually all those scenarios live on the show floor, is post-production. In post-production, I will also use a workflow uh, illustration to explain what we can do. First of all, usually you receive a work order, you need to deliver something, um, something creative, a promo, uh, or maybe to do a, a long form. You receive the work order, and you create all the project structure to receive all the material that will help you to, um, to prepare the, um, the contents. Then you want to do some pre-production on it. You want people to be able to search for the content, collect it, and do some um, storyboarding. When this step is done, there is all the editing process. You want to share information quickly and have some um, exchanges, exchanges between different edit suites. You may want to apply some um, vi visual effects. Um, and you also want an easy approval workflow for your management so that they can check on their iPads, on the web access, if the content is ready to be published to your distribution outlet. So that's how you can unify all those different tasks uh, around on top of a rich catalog, uh, which, will be, uh, which will sit um, at the core of systems which usually do not talk well together. So the idea is really to break the silos, but without any compromise on the efficiency. So I would like to, um, to just take five minutes um, to, to, uh, to give a bit more information about our integration with Adobe Premiere. As you know, we have a long-term partnership with Adobe Premiere, with Adobe. Um, as a company with Dalet, and it makes a lot of sense because if you look at it, um, Adobe has, has a great number of creative tools to generate content. On the other side, you have Dalet who is a great media asset management platform to reference and manage your assets. So if you combine the two systems together, then you have something which is very powerful. So in the last five to 10 years, we've worked with Adobe to add more and more features which make sense and streamline the workflows. Um, so in the past, and we have this feature for quite a long time, we are able to preserve and have metadata continuity so that if you send the media or if you share media with an Adobe tool, um, we know when the media will be back from Adobe, which piece of the media has been used. Um, we've added recently the ability also to manage uh, metadata, which is created in the tool. So if you add more markers, the markers will flow back to the MAM so that you preserve all the the information um, that was created in the uh, Adobe environment. We can save the project and the sequences, and we can also generate metadata from Adobe Premiere when publishing back the, um, the media to the MAM. Finally, we are showcasing on the show floor and, uh, the extend plugin for Adobe Audition, and that's more a, a medium term um, strategy to be able to have an extend plugin that works for all the uh, creative cloud. Um, uh, tools of Adobe. But the next scenario is IMF. So as I mentioned, IMF is coming, and if you want to be able to achieve the promises of IMF, you need to have an abstraction layer on top of IMF. IMF is a bunch of XML files and MXF files, and that can um, um, have cross relationships together. So you need to have a way to reference the master and supplemental packages in your system, so that it gives you an easy access to them rather than opening XML or MXF files. Once you have those components referenced and modeled into the asset management system, what you need to do is to have an easy way for a user to preview a CPL, even a complex CPL. So what we can do is we can render an IMF package, an IMF application to extended, even in HDR, and generate a proxy out of it that anyone can see. And this includes the captions. And finally, we can also see the relationship, so let's assume that it's an IMF package with one CPL, a number of media track files, and you have an easy way to see exactly which file is being used in the master and also in the supplemental packages. And that allows you to really um, move away from the management of files for IMF and have something that allows you to scale um, when uh, managing IMF packages. The last use case and the last story um, that we present on NAB is about orchestration. In uh, the last 20 MAM projects that we've delivered, um, the workflow engine has been used to streamline the processes. And um, 
it's easy. You have all the metadata in the system in the MAM. If you use the metadata and you use it in a good way, you can automatically um, design workflows that will combine uh, connections to macro services like metadata or media services to do speech to text, to do transcoding, QC, file mover. Um, you can also manage connections to systems, MAM, PAM, CMS, um, and that's very key for us because it allows us to manage rich assets and to trigger complex um, processes that you could not achieve with the a typical file-based workflow engine. So um, that's very key as it really gives um, another dimension to the MAM solutions that we can deliver. And another thing, and I will come back to that, is for the um, business intelligence indicators, is as we can gather and aggregate uh, assets and metadata from assets from different systems, these give you really a new dimension to the visibility that you have on your operations. So that was for the MAM solution, and that's an excellent transition to move to um, the orchestration solution. So on top of the news and on top of the MAM solution, we introduced for NAB, um, the orchestration solution. If you are convinced that you need orchestration for your uh, business, um, what are your available options today? So you can start with a file-based workflow automation where you can easily trigger, move files around, but there is no data model, there is no asset awareness. So as soon as you will need to maybe interact with a system, needs some metadata, which needs maybe relationships between assets, you will be constrained. So the other option is to go for a generic IT BPM. Virtually, it can do anything, but it's not designed for media specifically, so you have to build again all the connectors for the media industry. Um, and this will cost a lot. So our positioning is to introduce something which is right in the middle uh, with the talent orchestration solution, which is media aware, and which comes with out-of-the-box integrations um, with all the experience that we have at Dalet for 20 years now, and which also um, leverages a federated data model to um, connect all your existing systems together. So what does it mean? It means that we bring an offering which is based on four main components. The first one is the BPM engine itself. It allows you to design, to manage, and to monitor your workflows efficiently, combining a set of automated tasks as well as user tasks. The user task is very key, is to have the ability to um, assign a task to the good user at the good time, on the good asset, and with the good tool. Then we have a set of, oops, sorry. We have a set of uh, third-party integrations and API. And we have the uh, dashboard and business intelligence reporting, which gives you an access in real time to uh, the monitoring of your processes, as well as a business visibility on key performance indicators. Um, we bring also consultancy services because when you move to orchestration solutions, um, that's a good way to also change your internal processes and you might need to have some um, uh, professional services to help you doing those changes. So how does that fit in your ecosystem? You have the, work, the orchestration engine itself, which is the core, which is the engine. You need to start a workflow. Um, for that, you need a start event, which can be just a user triggering a workflow, an API call. But what which makes more sense is that imagine that you have already um, some one MAM system, one traffic system, an automation, an ingest platform. What you want to do is when you have a metadata change in your ingest platform, you want that to trigger automatically a workflow. So we can trigger workflow based on data-driven events. And that will be the start event of our workflow. And then we can connect to all your different systems, to your MAM, to your automation system, um, uh, update them, so th th those will be the integration with the systems. We can process the files, process the metadata, update them, and can also um, assign tasks to users with the appropriate tools. A key benefit of the um, Dalet orchestration solution is to have what you see here at the top, which is the asset awareness, the ability to manage assets and their relationships together. So when you combine and aggregate all the assets from all your different systems, you can deliver a real visibility on your operations, not only for one single system, but across all your silos and all your systems. So it gives you a visibility on all your operations, 
can easily improve or change the way you work or the way you design your workflows. So the key benefits for this orchestration solution are first to drive efficiency through streamlined workflows and processes. And to that, we have a unified media supply chain which leverages hundreds of third-party connectors that we, we've built with um, 20 years of experience in the media industry. We also have a federated data model, so you can use the object, the metadata of each object from your existing systems, as well as the relationships between assets and your systems to um, build smart workflows. As part of those workflows, users will still be involved, so you need to have an easy way to orchestrate both service and user tasks. And um, you need your solution to be agile. So you want to be able to change the workflows by yourself without having to contact or without having to implement anything. You want to have a platform which can evolve, we can plug new connectors to third party systems easily. And finally, you want to have this visibility on your entire operations by aggregating data from different systems. And this will give you the ability to deliver the true promise of BPM, which is analyze, design, execute, monitor, and, and improve. Thank you. <laughs>